the gates of uh, paradise are open and the gates of hell are closed, does this mean that we will be going to paradise if we die in this blessed month? This again is the same question, it is the same hadith. Same hadith which I quoted earlier of Musnad Ahmad, volume number two, page number 230, hadith number 7148, and it also appears in Sunan Nisai, chapter number five, hadith number 2106. Again, the same hadith, the Prophet said, he told the people that the blessed month of Ramadan is approaching, and Allah has ordained for you that you fast in this month. And in this month, the gates of heaven will be open, and the gates of hell will be closed, and the devils will be chained. And this month is the night of Qadr, which is more blessed than a thousand months. And a person who's deprived of the pleasures, of the blessings in this month, is truly a deprived person. Here again, this is a common question, that if the gates of heaven are open and the gates of hell are closed, then anyone who dies but naturally will go to Jannah, because the gates of hell are closed and Jannah open, does it mean that even if a non-Muslim dies in this month, even he'll have to go to Jannah? The reply to this question is, when Allah says that in this month of Ramadan, the gates of heaven are open, it means the gates of heaven are inviting you to enter Jannah. That means that even if you do a small deed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will multiply your reward. And as the Prophet said, that every deed will get a reward 10 times. And in this month, it's very easy to enter Jannah. When a prophet said, the gates of hell will be closed, indicating that to enter hell is difficult in this month. Why? Because the taqwa level rises. And the chance of you to commit sin is less. And furthermore, if you fast the full month in the month of Ramadan, seeking Allah's reward, all your past sins will be forgiven. So the moment a person fasts in this complete month of Ramadan, seeking Allah's reward, all his past sins are completely forgiven. So if the past sins are forgiven, the chances of him going to hell is nil. But what we have to realize, the criteria for the gates of heaven to be open and the gates of hell to be closed is that you have to fast. And furthermore, to enter Jannah, you require a ticket. The ticket to go to Jannah is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3, where Allah says, Wal-Asr, inna al-insan la fi khusr, illa al-lazin amnu, wa amilu salihati, wa tawasu bil-haqq wa tawasu bil-sabr. That by the token of time, man is verily in a state of loss, except those who have faith, those who do righteous deeds, those who exhort people to truth, and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. This surah, according to Imam Shafi, he said that only if this surah was to be revealed of the Quran, it would have been sufficient for the salvation of mankind. So important is. It is called as Rahe Nijat, the way for salvation. And the criteria for any human being to enter Jannah is four. First is Iman. Second is righteous deeds. Third is exhorting people to truth. And fourth is exhorting people to patience and perseverance. So here we realize that the gates of heaven are open, but just because the gates are open, you can't enter, you require the ticket. The ticket is Iman. The ticket is righteous deed. Exhorting people to truth, exhorting people to patience and perseverance. And to get this ticket is very easy in the month of Ramadan because the Iman level rises in the month of Ramadan. Furthermore, your righteous deed, the reward is multiplied. It's easier. You can call people to truth your patient level increases. So this hadith means that you have to have the criteria. Then inshallah, you should go to Jannah and you will not go to hell. But that doesn't mean that 100% people who die will go to Jannah. Surely, those are non-believers, they have got no iman. So there's no question that they will enter Jannah. If a person has to enter Jannah, he requires a ticket. And the ticket to Jannah is Surah Al-Asr. Furthermore, if you read the hadith, it says that only if you fast in the month of Ramadan, that means, and you follow all the rules and regulations, and abstain from things which are prohibited, then the doors of heaven will be open and the gates of hell will be closed. Furthermore, it says, in this month is a night which is equivalent to more than 
thousand months, indicating that even if you pray and worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this one night, it will be equivalent to more than a thousand months, is about more than 80 years. Imagine. So the chances for you to get a reward only in this one night is more than a lifetime. An average human being lives for 60 years. So one Laylatul Qadr is more than a thousand months, is about more than 80 years, more than average life of a human being. The chances are very easy to go to Jannah. And the ending part of the Hadith says, a person who is deprived of these blessings is truly a deprived person, indicating that everyone will not go to Jannah. Everyone will not find the doors of heaven open. It says, the ending part, very important, that a person who is deprived of the blessings in this month is truly a deprived person. That means telling us Muslims that if you cannot get the benefits of the month of Ramadan, and then if you cannot go to Jannah, then you are truly a deprived person. That even includes the non-Muslims who haven't got the Hidayah. They are truly the deprived people. So Dr. Zakir, well, Jazakallah khair.